Oh, that's your baby. Oh. Get off me. You needed to see the look on your face. So you think I left all I was doing to be here just to offer myself to you on a platter? If that's not the case, then why are you here? Stop thinking so highly of yourself. Or you think you're worth all the adventure? You have not told me why you're here. Because if you are worth all that adventure, then your trophy wife will not be seen frolicking around with a man in town. Belinda, you're making noise in my office. Get to the point. Why are you here? Nathan, I saw your wife coming out from a hotel in town with this good-looking, handsome young man with nice abs, well built, really good-looking young man. Stop me, see. You don't have to descend so low as to talk trash about your friend. It's unnecessary. What has come over you? Why are you like this now? Huh? Nothing has come over me, darling. And that's a rhetorical question, so you expect me to answer that? You expect me to answer that question. You better go back home and ask your wife what she was doing in a hotel with a man. Enough. But that's a lie. I know my wife. Stop it. If you have nothing else to say, please leave. I've played my part. If you like, keep defending her. Has a choice. Welcome. How are you earlier today? Um, I went to that meeting I told you about. What did the meeting hold? I was not very strong on that. Um, you first don't remember time. where you went to for oh. the meeting? <laughs> oh. What's the name of that restaurant on the first You don't first remember one? where you went to for a meeting? Tasty restaurant. That's where. Tasty Is restaurant. Is there anything the matter? I like to be left alone. My love is wrong, my heart is yours. Don't leave me, don't leave me. Cannot be true. My wife cannot be cheating on me. But why is she lying about the venue of the meeting? Why? Uh -huh. This can't be happening to me. No. How can she do a thing like this? This can't be happening. I, I trusted her. Cindy, I trust you with my life. Don't do this. How can she cheat on me? Must get to the root of this. Ah, my mother cannot be right. I, 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 I must get to the root of this. Oh, darling, I'm off. So? I told you I was hanging out with my friends. You were hanging out with who? My friends. Like this? Since when? <laughs> well, since Belinda made it a point of duty to intimidate all of us with her dressing, 
And you know now, your wife cannot carry laughs. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I'll be back before you know it, okay? Mm -hmm. I just hope this is not true. No, she can't be lying to me. She she she's hanging out with her friends and and not a man. Relax, Nathan. Relax. Trust your wife. She can't cheat on you. Trust your wife. She loves you. But wait. What if? I trust my wife. Yeah, I trust my wife. I trust my wife. Fun day today. Some people are already getting messed up. Mm. Girl, you're the, the first to always get messed up. Mm -hmm. Then when it happens, you start telling us the story of your life. How they slept with you and how it happened. Exactly. Well, I still have my drink, so that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> wait, wait. We've not even addressed the the agenda for today's meeting. Any you girls want to get messed up already? <laughs> The agenda for today's meeting is for Belinda oh. to show us who a man is. Belinda, we're tired of seeing you with different men. Show us your man. Yes, girl. We're dragging our names on the Lord. Get it, man, and stop sleeping around. Else, we will deassociate ourselves exactly. from you. Hey, so I am the agenda for the day. You guys are joking, right? No, girl, we're not. We're serious. Wow. So you guys think your lives are perfect and that's why you have the balls to walk into my apartment to tell me how to live my life? Darling, nobody's telling you how to live your life. We're only asking you to behave yourself and stop disgracing us. Huh. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Cindy, Cindy, my girl. So you are telling me that I, Belinda, the daughter of Fernandez Uzekoro, I'm disgracing you guys. Come on, Cindy. So you had the balls to connive with these things, these things, to come here and disgrace me, right? Okay, we shall see. Yo, calm down. Nobody's conniving with anybody. You're too big for this. Just change your ways. That's all. You know what? I'm done. When you finish with your alcoholism, you can get out of that place. Yeah, I think we should leave her just like Mama. She refused to open the door for and us. Dear, forget about Belinda Zeko. Sit down. Tell me, who is that person that has been calling you continuously? Oh! <laughs> Girl, it's almost like there's some kind of spiritual perfume that I poured on my body that says, Call this man. Come, 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 come. Anyway, I jump and pass. <laughs> Tell me something. What happened? It was not that day that my car broke down. I met some guy, Keo. He decided to drop me off. So nice. All of a sudden, story changed though. He started saying all sorts. I tried to get him off, but he's refused. Did you not see the ring on your finger? Or didn't you tell him you were married? A ring. That ring doesn't say anything anymore. I Initially, I didn't tell him, but he saw it. And I fulfilled all righteousness by telling him. But he refused. How? I don't even know how he knows where I jog. The route I go. There's the, the supermarket I go to, everywhere the guy is, like, is literally in my face. The other day I stopped at the supermarket to buy drinks. There he was, on my shoulder. This sounds dangerous. Are you sure he's not stalking you? I don't know, but honestly, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. He's just everywhere. He calls me every single time. I think you have to report to your husband. Eh? Yes. Report? Yeah. To who? Your husband. Nathan. 
Do you want him to die? <laughs> he will think that a man has taken me away already. Mm. I can't tell him because he will blow it out of proportion. Anyway, that one ended. But as soon as that one ended, another one started with the same speed. In fact, with higher intensity. Hmm. In fact, I'm tired. Honestly, I, I tried to ward him off nicely and he still refused. This sounds dangerous to me. Are you sure he's not stalking you? I don't know. I, I've been so nice to him, telling him nicely that, you know, you should just leave me alone, that I'm married, but... I don't know. He's just refused, blatantly. You need to stop uh, being nice to them. You know, most times they mistake being polite to playing hard to get. And when they don't get what they want, they tend to be violent. Or would you want that? Honestly, you know that my job actually bars me from being rude to people. But as it is, I think I better take your advice and and be rude to them and, and do something. You just have to do something. This is not nice at all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Well, no, no, come here anymore. I'm a man, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen, the more demands are no the more peace of mind. I'm a man, I'm a man, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Now I'm scared. Oh, come on, see. There's nothing to be scared about. See, I know I messed up. And I'm here to apologize sincerely from my heart. I'm so sorry for, you know, messing up everything, ruining our reputation, and um, also being so annoying. Please, I'm sorry. From my heart. Wow. This is surprising. Cindy, I am truly sorry. Hmm? Yeah. This is unbelievable. I saw you outside. I, I thought you were going to pull out a gun to shoot me. Oh, come on. Is that how you see me? <laughs> Listen, girl. This visit, this apology is all coming as a huge, huge shock. But I told you I'm a changed person now. Honestly. And obviously we have to celebrate that. Sure. Can I see for now? Sure. Thank you. Ah, there's this guy I saw you with the other day coming out from a restaurant. What's going on? Oh, his name is Joe. Wow, Joe, that sounds sweet. Um, I think the guy actually looks as sweet as his name sounds. You are having fun. Oh, please, please, just come off it. He was asking me out, and I said I wasn't interested. I'm married. I don't have anything to do with him. Really? Mm hmm. Cindy, why are you talking like this? Please have fun. Enjoy yourself now that you're still young, okay? What about men? You know they do this every day, right? What? Yeah. You, you say what? Cindy, listen. If I were you, I wouldn't let that sweet, charming, cute guy sleep off my phone. No. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Do you don't want me, you can better still pass him over. Gladly you can have him. Let me get you a drink. Mm. I don't want to. Enjoy him. Have fun, baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
person to do this for her. What you you think I didn't try? I tried. I tried to convince but you know how she can be now. She got all dramatic but as soon as I'm done, I'll be by your side. I promise you. This is my auntie that I do and not just any aunt. I know. She was like a mother to me. I know. I was close to her too so I understand how you feel. Okay, let me just get through. You know what? I'm gonna speed things up with what my mom wants me to do. As soon as I'm done, I'll be there with you baby. I'm not gonna stand you up. Hey. Please. Okay. Make sure you come as soon as you finish. I already miss you, so I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Make sure you come as soon as you're done. I won't stand you up. You'll see me. My love is wrong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. My morning star, the air I breathe. Don't leave me, don't leave me. My love is strong, my heart is yours. Don't leave me, please, don't leave me. My morning star, the air I breathe. Don't leave me. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Welcome, Mom. Hi. Cindy, how are you? Fine. I hope you stop crying. Eh? Yes, fine. Please, you have to be strong for those children she left behind. You are the only one that can take care of them. Mom, she's not the only one. There are other aunties that would be able to take care of those kids as well. Hmm? Why is she rushing back? She should stay and take care of these children. They need her. Well, we need her here too. She has a home to run and she has work, Mom. With whom? Those aunties you're talking about, they all have children. But she doesn't have any. Mom, stop. Okay, stop. What is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Okay. Stop, Mom. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. What is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Okay. Come on, drive. You should stay back and take care of the children. Mama, my man, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, the more, the more. Peace of mind. My mind, my mind, I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, the more. Your wife has gone right. Peace of mind. Sit down, Nolan. You better encourage her to stay back for a while. Because Sandra is moving into this house, and both of you need to spend time together. 
What do you mean that is not going to happen? I did not kill my mother. You will not kill me. Oh, Gimme, why are you doing this to me? Eh? Last week I went to the hospital. The doctor said my BP is very high. All because of you. Why do you want to kill me? Oh, Gimme, Eh? I have done nothing. If I die today, just know that you are the person that killed me. You say a thing like that. Why wouldn't I talk like that? Why wouldn't I talk like that? What do you want me to do? Why do you want to kill me? I'm not asking you to marry her. I'm just saying, allow her to come and spend some time here. That's all. And if my wife finds out? Who will tell your wife? Onyika Agwea. Trust me, she will find out. Just trust me on this. Mom, you're disrespecting my marriage. Stop it. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Just do this. Let me know that you're man enough to take good decision. Just do it. Let me know you're man enough. Nico Zeno. Nico. What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Oh. <laughs> My mom let you in, huh? You know what? Get out. This is my bedroom. Leave. <laughs> Why are you always trying to play the hard guy? I mean, it doesn't even fit you. Um, stop touching me. Stop it. You know, I was told that you are a trained nurse in the U.S. And I'm looking at you and I'm wondering what my mom told you that made you fly all the way down here to fool yourself. You think I'm fooling myself? Anita, I am not fooling myself. I am in love with you, don't you understand? But I am taking, I'm a married man, don't you understand? Stop it now. Eh? Nothing can come out of this. Nothing. Stop. You know, Nathan, I, I never regret the little time that I spent with you. You just haven't given me the opportunity to prove to you that I love you. I love you. Stop touching me. Go out there. A lot of young men, single, would appreciate you. Love to make you their woman, make you happy. Stop following a married man around. I'm married. Has anyone ever told you that you look cute when you're angry? I mean, so cute. <laughs> you need help. Hmm? Yeah, you need help. You're retarded. Explains why you were deported and then you came back here to fool around. Oh. This has lasted long enough. Leave my bedroom. Okay, this is my bedroom. Out. I'm a man, I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen, the more, the man's a no, the more peace of mind. I'm a man, I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Ni men the more, ni men the no the more. Peace of mind. Ay 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 oh, ay 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 oh, ay 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 oh. Ni mo, I pray for peace of mind. Ay 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 oh, ay 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 oh. What do you want? I'm cold. I'm, I want you to keep me warm. I'm Sandra. Why are you like this? Like how? Why do you constantly give me the impression that you're retarded? Yeah. Why? Well, I, I do not have any problem. I just want you to make me feel warm. 
I'm cold. What's what's wrong with that? Come on, please. Uh, uh, don't touch me. Do not touch me again. Try one more time. I'll do something to you that I'll regret. Yes, I, I'm really cold, please. Um, do you see? I, I know you don't want me. Do you know about your wife? Is she not going to find out? Or would you want to tell her? Just make me feel more things. Mm. I'll not tell you again. Touch me. One more time. Even if it means drugging you to get pregnant for you, I must do it. Nothing. I repeat, nothing will stop me from having you, Nathan. You are mine. And I must do anything possible to have you. Hmm? That stupid wife of yours cannot even stand on my way. She dares not. My mama manic anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen to money, means and all the more. Peace of mind. My mama manic anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen to money, means and all the more. Peace of mind. My mama manic anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen to money, means and all the more. Peace of mind. My mama manic I want to send a git man down the street to get something for me to eat. I was wondering, do you want anything? Are, are you hungry? Do you want him to get something for you too? Food, eh? Yeah, I like food. Okay. Do you sometimes think about going to the market buying something to, to make yourself, you know, something that you can cook? Okay, as opposed to going down the road all the time to buy things that you don't know how it was prepared and putting your tummy to you, you know? Uh-huh, I get it. You're filled up. As a matter of fact, you were not interested. You know, I actually came to ask you so you don't feel like I'm starving you. But since you're filled up, it's, it's all good. I'll go tell him to get something for me. Oh, did you hear anything that I said? Huh? Did you say something? Yeah, did you hear everything that I said? Uh, I, I don't really hear well when I'm hungry. In case if you change your mind, how large you go? Now that's the one that my mom wants for me. <laughs> what is it? Why is this man stopping me? Um, hello? Good afternoon. My daughter, how are you? Ma, I am not fine at all. I am not. Your son is making life so miserable for me in this house. What happened? I've practically showed him everything, but he's not accepting anything. Nothing I do makes him happy. It's as if the more I'm trying to make him happy, the more he despises me. I am tired. Showing him everything may not be the solution. Don't you know how to use your woman power? Use it on him. Mm -hmm. You're not understanding what I'm saying, are you? I said I have done everything. I've done everything in my power. You are a very attractive woman. No man can resist you. If you play your card well, use your magic. Mom, it seems you've forgotten that your son is so rigid. I mean, he is a principled man. Nothing moves him. Anyways, I'll, I'll just keep trying. Yeah, I was doing something in the kitchen before you called. I'll call you back. Um, 
just that I need to take care of a few things um, before I, I look into that project. Oh, no, not at all. I, I remember I told you myself that I'll do something, something about it, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, please. I have my mom trying to reach me. Can I call you back? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, mom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, son. How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. When do you say you are traveling to Cindy's village? Tomorrow morning, mom. You have to cancel it. Send money to them. Sandra is ill and she needs to be taken care of. I don't understand well, what what Sandra what the same Sandra that I left at home. Yes. The sickness started not long ago and I am busy. I won't be able to come and take care of her. Mom, with all due respect, my responsibility is to my wife, Cindy. And not to Sandra. If Sandra is ill, let her go to the hospital. Better still, let her people come take care of her. That her parents are outside the country just for tomorrow and I will take over when I am done with what I am doing. Please, my son, do it for your mother. Mom, I don't like this. I don't, I don't, I don't like this at all. Mom. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I promise to come around once I am less busy. Sandra, you smoke in this house. So, do you have a problem with that? No, not exactly. But how would the man you are trying to win feel? You know our men, they have a way of looking at women who smoke. Please, Kelsey, let her be my headache. Besides, before he would get back, I'm sure the smell would have gone off. Oh, please. Yes, he could have been bad. I, I, I don't know why he came back so early today. Cindy, <laughs> you need to drink water. You know you have vomited everything you ate and you need rest. And the people that you want to take any water. We arrived earlier, should have been dead. She can't even move or do anything when we got here. Well, let's take her to I'm here, let's go to the hospital. Huh? No, no, we are just coming back from the hospital now. Yes. Oh, you, what, you already been to the hospital and, and you're back? Yes, sir. Okay, so what, what, what did the doctor say? The doctor said, he said, the doctor said, he said, he said we should come back for the test results. Yes, come back for the test results. Come back for the test results. Temperature is normal. Okay. Huh. We, we, the, the, the temperature is normal, but the, the inside is not normal. Yes. yes. What's that smell? Smell it. I'm, I'm a man the, 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 I pray for peace the, of the mind. Hey, one of the drugs the doctor gave us has this awful smell. Yes, uh, one of the I'm a man again, I pray for peace of mind. You want to go to the water? No, no, no. You want to go to the Peace of mind. That's what I'm saying, for the water. I am you. I am you.
Actually, I came to tell you thank you for taking care of me. yourself a lot. You know you should make a time for something else. Okay. have the entire house to yourself, all right? You're making me uncomfortable in my own house and I've decided to leave it for you, so enjoy. No, but you cannot leave your house because of me. It's not nice. Really? Is that what my mother asked you to say? No, your mother does not have anything to do with this. <laughs> As a matter of fact, your mother would not even know my decisions to go back to the state. I will leave. Well, I've really had enough of your nonsense in this house, Sandra, and it has to stop, okay? Stay away from me, all right? I was actually making up my mind to go out, okay, to get a few things done before you started with, with your nonsense again. And now I'm really irritated. I really just need to catch some air. So please just step aside. Let me go out. Hopefully by the time I come back here, and hopefully you'll be out of my house before I return. Let <laughs> me My love is strong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. You're not as stupid as this man. Hello, mom. Hello, my daughter. How are you doing? Mom, I'm, I'm good. I called this early to remind you that you must utilize your chance today. You said your relation is starting today. So make sure he sleeps with you. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I mean, I can't keep forcing myself on Nathan. He already made it clear that he doesn't want me. I can't. My daughter, believe me, if he gets you pregnant, he will send that useless woman away and marry you. Mom, you're not understanding me, are you? There is nothing that I'm going to do for Nathan to sleep with me. He doesn't like me. After this and it did not work, then you can go back to the States. Okay, just this last time. Thank you. Bye. Sorry for all the pains that have caused you and your family. Little please. I don't know what got over me. I don't know how your mom caught me involved in all this, but believe me, I am leaving this morning and I really packed my things. I just wanted you to know that I am really sorry. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I know that. 
that you're hurt. I know that you're disappointed. And I also know that in a bid to save my marriage, I, I have been mean to you. I know my mom put you up to all of this and, um, you know, you got all mercy on dirty, but I have never seen you like this. I didn't know you had, you had an emotional side. Sorry, stop crying. Okay, stop crying. Listen uh, up your makeup. Stop crying. Okay. I'll be your friend. Yeah. That way you and I can stop fighting each other. Especially me fighting you. You're beautiful, you know. Yeah, it's just that, you know, you came at me the wrong way. Uh, you let my mother put you up to a lot of mischief that is not right and stuff. But looking at you now, by the way, you look great and right. Oh, don't leave me. So happy right now, like oh, I can't wait to have Mitan's baby. I can't wait to be pregnant for him. So where is he now? Um, he should be in the room. I took her some time from the heat to come and give you the good news. You should be in the room with him. Apart from the fact that Cindy will be coming back tomorrow. So soon. What's wrong with that useless girl? She can't stay to help those children. It's not like she can even get pregnant. But anyways, um, I don't care, Mom. I'm just happy. That's what my father is. Okay, I have to go back to my duty post. I'll call you later. Okay, Mom. Hey, baby. Perfect. Don't call me, baby. Stop it. Okay. Um, do you have something? Stop it. Okay. Sorry. I'm off to my wife's town to return with her tomorrow. Okay. Sandra? Yes, babe. Would you be nice enough to keep what happened between you and I to yourself? Appreciate it if no one knows about it. Of course, you can come to me, baby. Oh, stop calling me, baby. Not your baby. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay, that's a hundred thousand naira for your transport. Please leave my house before I return tomorrow with my wife. If you leave today, I'll be better. Are you serious right now? Are you for real? Okay, fine. I would leave your house. But do you think if I wanted some money from you, it would be the spin out? I don't need it. You can keep it to yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself, Sandra. What happened between you and I was a silly mistake that you and I would try not to remember. If my wife hears about this, my marriage just might be shattered. I don't want that. So please take this money and leave. My love is wrong. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My morning star.
stop pretending to be happy to see me. Because both of us know that you never wish to see me in your life. And you, you don't know how to greet your mother. Eh? You don't know how to greet your mother. Good afternoon, Mom. I just wasn't expecting to see you here. How would you expect to see me? Is that why you didn't allow her to stay back in the village and take care of those poor children? You had to rush her back. Okay? You had to rush her back. What's her use in this house? What's her use? Not now. Mm. Not now. Cindy, you have turned my son against me. You, you turned my son against me. Let me tell you something. Your days are numbered in this house. Lie, mom. Her days are not numbered. Her days are numbered. So that, let's go inside. Your days are numbered. Oh, buggy. Your days are numbered. I'm telling you, your days are numbered in this house. Your days are numbered. Oh, oh, Germania. The voices that are speaking in our home of Yajulu. We shall overcome. This love will never stop. Please hear me out. I will never let you go. So give on, give on. I will never let you go. You are all I have. Oh, don't leave me. Mama, are you looking for something? Are you looking for something? Oh, don't I just, uh, the kitchen is not big enough. I want to separate where my grandchild will be dressed. I don't want him to be using kitchen with anyone. Grandchild? Where's that grandchild coming from now? I'm not pregnant yet. <laughs> and who's talking about him? Can you ever be pregnant? It's only a fool that will still think Anything good can come out of you. And I'm not a fool. I'll plead with you to quit this game of deceiving yourself and not me. Mama, what have I done? What have I ever done to you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be harsh to you. But I just need to tell you the truth. I, I, I don't know why my mind's like this towards me. I, I've been trying. I've been trying to get her to accept me. And no matter what I do, she doesn't. Ignore her. You summarized her the other time. You said that the best way to deal with her is to ignore her. Why are you letting this one get to you? Ignore her. What is this talk about expecting a grandchild? What, she said that to you? It's nothing. She's just trying to... <laughs> Look, you know how manipulated my mom can be. She's, she's trying to mess with your head, okay? She's trying to play on your intelligence. Don't let that happen now. Nothing. This got to be because she was so sure. She didn't sound like a mere mischief maker. She was absolutely sure about this, like she has a plan. She's just talking. She's she's just talking tough. You know, listen, you know my mom. That there's there's really no, no, no plan. She's just you know saying those things to just to to you know just Nathan. What are you hiding you from me? What? What are you hiding away from me, babe? Do I hide things from you? I know you too well. I know you very well, and I know when you're hiding something away from. Tell me, what is it? Nothing. 
Look, it's it's not like there's anything or I, I there's nothing. You, you know I tell you everything. You right? talk to me. Tell me what are you hiding? Okay, I. I'll, I'll tell you. You see, when you went to to the village, I. But, but, sweetheart, listen, you, you have to promise to be calm and, and, and please, you, you have to forgive me, okay? Please, you promise. Promise you. You can speak. Well, speak. When you went to the village, um, my mom brought the. You know that family friend, the, the fair skinned one, the one that you saw the other day, yes, Sandra? Uh -huh. I brought her here and was trying to coerce me into marrying her. Huh? Yeah, and I took, she, she, she threatened to, to kill herself if I don't marry her. What did you say? What did you say? I told her no, that I, that I, I can't do it. You're leaving. Yes. Start shouting for joy. The wicked witch is about to leave your house. Mama, I would never call you a wicked witch. I love you just like I love my own mother. Who are you fooling? You think you can fool me? I know you hate me, but I'm not worried. The feeling is mutual. I wish you die so my son can progress. Mama! Don't mama me. Stupid girl. I'm not your mother. I will never rest until you leave my son alone. If you know what is good for you, live with your pride, else you will be disgraced out of this house. I promise you that. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, amen the more, peace of mind. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, amen the more, peace of mind. The almighty Madame Vero, the only woman who knows how to get things done. Talk to me, I'm here to help you. I invited you here because I know you are friend to that witch my son got married to, against my wish. Oh, Mama, you sound as if you're not comfortable with her being your son's wife. I practically pleaded with my son not to marry that girl. From time, because I know what she represents. But you refuse to listen to me. I need your services because I want to end that union. I want to end it once and for all. Okay, so how do I come in? Trust me, when the brief is right, I'm always there to provide my services. I like that. I heard you slept with Sandra. And she was of late when you slept with her. What are you talking about? Don't ask me what I'm talking about. Don't even act ignorant of that. I don't know what you're talking about. Sandra was ovulating when you slept with her. Which is to say, she can get pregnant anytime soon. Meaning, you should get yourself prepared for what is coming. Huh. <laughs> so I was right all this time, huh? <laughs> so this whole thing was an organized seduction with my mom, my own mother, sitting at the helm of it. Ah, mom. Mom, what do you stand to gain from this? What I tell you, nothing will happen. I'm not prepared for anything. Because you see, that act was a mistake. And whatever comes out of it will be a mistake. Let us wait till she's pregnant. Then we will revisit this matter. Just get yourself prepared. You're going to be a father. <laughs>
the money, man, so no more peace of mind. Ay, 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 oh. Ay, 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 oh. Hello, Sandra? Hello, baby. This is a huge surprise. Yeah, how are you? I am very well. It's so sweet of you to ask. Um, Sandra, you, you know that I haven't um, actually called to, um, you know, discuss um, what happened uh, the, the last time with you. No, 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 that, that's not what I'm talking about. Listen, Sandra, uh, you would agree with me that what, what, what happened was a mistake, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking that you, that, you know, we are careful to ensure that um, nothing from that experience um, reminds us of that, of that mistake, if, 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 you, if you get what I'm talking about. How dare you call such a precious moment a mistake? Look, I am tired of you and your over-righteous attitude. Don't ever call my phone again, and I mean it. Just get off, please. Ah. Nathan. Ah, Nathan, no. You goofed this time. I love his I don't know what you're talking about. Please, can I just sleep, please? No, just tell me, what room are we going to arrange for the baby that is coming? Sir, can we talk about this tomorrow? I need to sleep. I will let you sleep if you answer me this one question. What is it? What question? What room? What room are we going to arrange for the baby that is coming? Ha! Ah, well, can this not waste you tomorrow? Please, can we not talk about it tomorrow, please? If you answer me, you will sleep. You know what? Next room, all right? The next, the next room. The next one. So mm. by this answer, you are confirming that indeed you are expecting a baby? What? Ah! Don't be I'm upset. Sleep. Don't, don't be upset, my handsome husband. See? But I was sleeping and no, you no, woke no, me no, up. No, no, don't be upset. Listen, this is a family and as a unit we must, we must find solutions to our problems and answers to our questions. That's all I'm trying to find out. And since I am not pregnant, it means that Somebody else is pregnant. Ah, I don't know who that is. I mean, you, you, you woke me up, so you should be telling me what's going on. You woke no, me up. No, you were already telling me the story. Just finish it. What happened during that period? Tell me. Don't be upset. Hmm? Really, baby? Really? 